Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Good to have you. Uh, today I wanted to teach about a very specific topic and the topic of today is how the Quran describes the mother of Jesus. The Quran calls her Maryam bint Umran. We need to understand that the early Christians were Jews, people like Matthew, people like Stephen who died as a martyr, uh, people like John, John the Beloved, right? But there were also Jews who did not accept Jesus as their Messiah and they called him the fake Messiah and we can find uh, from the second and third century from Jewish sources they also made the mother of Jesus Mary to be uh, an adulteress they called her an adulteress because they simply didn't understand how the virgin birth was they had no clue so they made a lot of false claims about her calling her an adulteress uh, who committed adultery so instead of uh, making a, a beautiful picture about her in the Quran Muhammad he insulted her and in the, insulted her in a very disturbing and nasty way so let me show you from the Quran guys let us start this teaching if we go to the Quran in chapter 4, ayah 157, we can read the following. وَقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحَ عِيسَى إِبْنَ مَرْيَمَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ If you read with me in the English translation, and they are saying, indeed we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, and they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. First of all, the Jews who did not accept Jesus as the Messiah, they never called him the Messiah. Till today, Jews don't call Jesus the Messiah because they think he was not a Messiah in the first place. So he, Muhammad, fabricating lies about the Jews inside the Quran in chapter 4. Muslims, why do you accept this lie? Why? The proof is in front of you. Till today there are Jews who do not accept Jesus as the Messiah. Only the Jews in the first century who, who accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they called them the Messiah. So no, the Jews never made this claim. They never called Jesus the Messiah. Indeed, we have killed the Messiah Jesus. No, they did not call him the Messiah because they simply never claimed that he is the Messiah. Only the Christians did. So we can conclude that in this ayah, Muhammad fabricated lies about the Jews. The Jews never made the claim that Jesus is the Messiah because the Jews never claimed that, the, that Jesus was the Messiah in the first place. So Muhammad, thank you for this fabrication inside the Quran in chapter 4. If we go to chapter 19, ayah 27, we can read the following. فَأَتَدْ بِهِ قَوْمِهَا تَحْمِلُهُ قَالُوا يَا مَرْيَمُ لَقَدْ جِئْتِ شَيْئًا فَرِيَّا Read with me in the English translation. Then she brought him, the baby, to her people carrying him. They said, O oh Mary, indeed you have brought a thing, Fariya. If we go to Tafsir al-Jalalain, we can see the following. According to Tafsir al-Jalalain for this ayah, Shay'an Fariya means Azeeman حَيْثُ أَتَيْتِ بِوَلَدٍ مِنْ غَيْرَ أَبْ So basically it's a really uh, amazing uh, thing that you came with a child without a father. But is this something right? Is this true? If we read it like this, without a father. I mean, is this a right way to explain this ayah? Without a father? Shouldn't Al Jalalain have said without a husband? Because remember, the Jews they were accusing Mary to uh, commit adultery, right? So how did Tafsir Al Jalalain give it this way of explanation without a father? But we know only Jesus Christ came without a father, right? So here. Islam got busted. 
Beautiful, huh? Here, if Muhammad would have said it right without his fabrication, he should have quoted the Jews in the right way. The Jews would have said if they were accusing Mary, how did you come with a child with a, without a husband? So Muhammad didn't actually understand the virgin birth of Mary, right? Because only Jesus Christ is without a father, right? Because he has a spiritual father in heaven, God the Father. So as you see, Muhammad busted himself in a really bad way inside this Quranic ayah. So the Jews, they never said without a father, they said without a husband because they were accusing Mary, the mother of our Lord, glory to his name, that she committed adultery, right? Having sex without a husband, not without a father. So the Tafsir daddies like Al Jalalain, they created this problem. They misquoted what the Jews in the second and third century have said. So Muslims wake up, wake up. If your scholars have no clue about what the early Jews have said and how they accused Mary, how are you going to understand Islam? Why are you believing these lies inside the Quran and in the tafsir? If we go to the following verse, uh, Ayah 28, we can read the following. Ya akhta Haruna, ma kana abuki imra'an su'in wa ma kanat ummuki baghiya. The translation says, O sister of Aaron, this is a historical uh, problem, but let me not go off topic here. Thy father was not a wicked man, nor was the mother, thy mother a harlot. So here, basically, uh, the Quran is insulting the parents of uh, Mary, because the Bible would have never made such a claim about the parents of Mary. And they are basically the the people here are telling uh, Mary inside this ayah your father was not a adulteress or and your mother was not a whore <laughs> right bagia it basically means whore harlot so here this is a really big insult uh, it's disgusting it's disturbing and on top of that here the quran fails miserably because it leaves out her husband Joseph, because we can uh, basically conclude that here the people are talking, where, is, where did you come with this child, right? Because they are saying, hey, your parents are not wicked people. Your father was not a wicked man and your mother was not a whore. So why and where did you come up with this child? Where did you get him from about Jesus, right? So the Quran completely leaves out Joseph, her husband, man oh man, what a horrible and miserable problem Muhammad created inside this Quran. Thank you for watching guys and God bless. <laughs>